Because I don't want to directly talk about, oh, this is it, this is that. And I think that's a boring way to look at work, you know, because it's so much more than that. When people look at something, they're supposed to recognize it this way, but I'm kind of shaking that. So you can't really quickly recognize. I think that's a very important for my work, uh, not only for the color, but also iconography. I use a shape of uh, peach a lot, but sometimes they appear look like uh, body parts, like a bosom or a bud. Or I recently started combining with Angry Birds, you know, the video game that kids play with. The internet world, it really changed the people, the way they look at things. In the beginning, I felt really uncomfortable with that because work is something we're trying to make some type of truth that doesn't change in over time and over, over look at it. all this master work that we really love in the museums and elsewhere has that quality. I think it's very important how things are changing and my work reflects that. I look at Twitter logo and then I made it as Pennsylvania Dutch folk art, the shape. And then that sort of confuses uh, Korean community. When they look at it, they look at the Korean traditional board. They never fall apart after they get married. They are a couple. So it can be read in so many different ways, but the original idea came from Twitter board. I also put like Facebook logo sometimes because it's a big F. You know what F also represents in the language. And then U, the shape of uh, a horseshoe is a symbol of good luck. And then I kind of put them together in a quirky way that people kind of see it. But everything is sort of related to another. I think what I deal with as a subject matter is really serious but I don't want my work to appear that like uh, whiny or being too serious about it. I always love uh, humor and jokes in art. With the first fresh impression, you look at the work, oh, very exotic, it looks like Asian influence. But when you go back and look at the work again, there's lots of references and different and awkwardness and unfamiliar things that are telling you this is all about America. Acrylic is relatively very young material. It's like less than 100. And Korean hanji mulberry paper is like 1,000 years old. So it's like a, I'm just marrying these two super old grandpa with a very young. No, that this doesn't sound good. <laughs> super old grandma with a young, young man. I don't know, something super old, something super young, something really more mature with something really obnoxious, kind of put them on the same page. I approach very seriously the way I paint. And I think the sincere manner is very important. I really want that to come across almost like the latest taste. I compare my work with food. I want that taste to come at the end. On the top, there's a sour, there's a sweet, there's oak, spicy. There's all types of interesting taste of life on it. And then deep down, it's subtle and it's very serious. I wanted to make wall hanging norige pieces. This one is from my mother, and this is the traditional format. And they usually use silk and they hand knotted. And then the body parts, usually the jewelry parts, like it's a silver plated, gold plated, sometimes wood. On the bottom, it's silk tassel. All this thing has some really good blessing kind of meaning, like, you know, the family and the house and friends things like that. Well, it's not really norige, so it, it is our form, and I borrowed the form and I changed it. So there is a lot of alteration and um, uh, abstraction within the work. First of all, the size is a lot bigger. Uh, it's kind of like a doll size. And then the middle plates I replace with ceramic elements, and it's very sculptural. At the same time, I can draw 
and paint a lot more. It can be the form of peach or people's faces or I look at a lot of different masks all over the country. And more exciting part is hair because hair is something like super beautiful when you have it in your hair. Once it's out, it's kind of grotesque in a way. But that was my challenge. Like I didn't want to make my work looks like that dead red on the road. <laughs> I want it to be more strange, whimsical, and a little bit scary but more playful and also remind people of people uh, because we all have the hair. Every culture, in terms of how people wear their hair and then do with their hair, it's so different country to another country. When they look at the imagery, they think they understand, but all they did was misunderstanding. And for me, uh, misunderstanding is very important because uh, it's a first step to understand somebody. First step to understand different culture or different family. Mm -hmm. 